Uh, thanks for giving. Thank you for giving me your time, Jose. No, I really appreciate no problem, it. No problem. Uh, how are you? How are you and your family? Okay. Everything is good. Yes. Everybody, everybody, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yep. What's What's the uh, weather like where you are? Excuse me. What's the weather like where you are? What is the weather? Oh, it's about ninety degrees. By ninety degrees hot. You're what lucky about you? man. Raining. <laughs> it's just starting it to rain. Uh, yeah, it was like raining it. a little bit today. It was raining a little bit today. It was raining a little bit, but not that much. No. So how nah, how, nah. how how are you, how are you keeping? What are you doing these days with yourself? Oh, right now, you know, I chose to right now work at. I am helping at a school, you know, you know, do a little security at a school now, you know. And I talk to the kids most of the time. Talk to the kids, you know, see how they're doing. You know, I help, I help them out because this 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 is a school where kids have you know problem. You know, yeah. they get sent for they get sent to, uh, they they are sent from regular school to where to where we at, you know. At a school to where you know kids behave bad, they come to our school. Yeah, that must yeah. that must be really um really re rewarding for you, you know. Yes, yes, yeah. Because I speak to you, know, I speak to them about boxing, you know. I speak to them about you know how things they can do for themselves. You yeah. know, so some want to play football, basketball. You know, some some of them want to box. I say it's good. You know, I tell them it's a very good sport. You know, you have to believe in yourself. Believe yeah. in yourself. That's all the time. You know, I have yeah. faith in them. And, yeah. and they've got a good they've got a good teacher in you, yeah? Yes, yes. Repeat that again. Because because when whenever I think of Jose Rabalta, I think of a man of courage. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of time they say, yes, you fought Mike Tyson. But yes, I know it was a hard fight, you know. They told me, yeah, you know, I saw your fight, you know, Mike Tyson. You know, and they basically speak mostly about Mike Tyson, you know. Yeah. Oh, this guy, he's strong, he's strong. He punched hard, you know. You did good, Mr. Rebaldo. Mr. Rebaldo, you did real good. You know, they, they, they watched my fight with Mike Tyson. You know, they you know, they, they always say, you know, how good I did. You know, how I went 10 rounds, how I got back up, how I got yeah. knocked down, got back up again, you know, with a lot of courage, you know. You know, they, you know, they speak to me about that. Big, big, big courage, always. Uh, but, but Mike Tyson, you fought many other fighters as well, didn't you? Yes, I fought Larry Hohn, Leon Spring. I fought Leon Spring, who, God bless him, you know, he just yeah. passed away, you know. I fought yeah. him, you know. And I slapped him in the first round, you know. He, he's a good fighter, he's a good fighter. Leon Spring for Larry Hohn, Leon, you know, I fought, I fought a lot of fighters. Tim Witherspoon, I fought a lot of guys. You know, oh, Razor uh, Ruddock. Razor Ruddock, yeah. Wow, yeah. you, but you always you always fought with your heart, you know. Yes, yes, yes. You know, but some of some of the fights I fought, you know, you know, I won the fight, but the decision was given to my to the opponent. Like for example, when I fought Razor Ruddick, you know, I was scheduled to fight somebody else, and then what happened was seventeen hours before the fight, before the fight between me and Razor Ruddick, they said Ribalta, uh you don't gonna you don't gonna fight Razor Ruddick. I'm sorry, you're gonna, you gonna fight Razor Ruddick, but I was scheduled to fight somebody else. I was scheduled to fight somebody else, and then Razor Ruddick came in. You know, they, they really set me up for that fight because I heard Razor Ruddick was training to fight me for a whole month. I didn't know oh. this. I didn't know this, you know. So then what happened, Razor Ruddick came in last minute. You know, he knew he, he knew for a month he was gonna fight me, but I didn't know I was gonna fight him. No. You know, that, that what took place there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. Who who was the who was the toughest that you fought then? That would you say was the toughest fighter? Well, like I said, you know, the toughest fighter now, you know, I have to go with 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 um, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson the toughest fighter I will fought Mike Tyson. Yeah. You know, Mike yeah, he was a hard fighting. You know, he, he was a very, very good head movement. He punched hard, you know, and he constantly put pressure on you. He's a strong guy. He's a good, you know, but what I don't understand is that how, you know, that like for example, when I fought Tyson, he said after 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 he fought Ivana Holyfield and everything, he said I was the hardest fight he ever had. Yeah. Right? 
the first half he ever had, you know, why doesn't the why doesn't he select me to you know do an exhibition with him? He did one with Van Holyfield. Okay, Van Holyfield beat him. Okay, but even though Van Holyfield, Van Holyfield beat him, he said I was still the hardest fight he ever had. Hard yeah. fight. So so why should he go with Van Holyfield again? You know that's what, that's what I don't understand. What you, know? you, you, you would you be interested in an exhibition with Tyson? Yeah. Yes, I, I love the exhibition of Tyson. You know wow. what happened was me and Tyson, we fought in 1986. So then yes. what happened was in 1996, we sparred. We sparred, you know, he was, he was getting ready to fight, I think Frank Bruno, he was getting ready to spar, fight. So then what happened was, you know, we sparred, we sparred, we sparred, and I did real good with him in sparring, did real good with him in sparring. So then that's, that's, that's one thing I really think that He's not really the one of the reasons he really not selected me to do an exhibition with him, you know. But uh, right now, you know, there was talks about me, me and, and friend Bruno possibly doing an exhibition. I said, hey, you know, we could do that. You know, I won't mind doing an exhibition with Frank Bruno. Yeah. I would love to. And you're you're both still in very good shape, tip top shape, and yeah. you're both both warriors. You, Frank Bruno, both warriors. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yes. You know, like I say. Somebody told me that they spoke, there was TV on TV, they spoke about possibly me and Frank Bruno doing an exhibition. They were, they were talking about that. But, you know, I, I would like to do an exhibition with Frank Bruno. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still, do you still watch boxing today? Yeah, but not as much as I did. Yeah, because no. these guys today, you guys today, they're very, like, selfish, you know, because a lot of times you tell these young guys today, listen, you must do this way, do this way. Oh, no. I like doing it this way. I like doing it that way. You know, then they go in the ring and they get they, they get beat. They get beat, you know. Cause you know they they very they very they very very one sided. One sided. They want to do what they want to do. And okay, no problem. And that's it. That's what happened a lot of time to them, you know. So you know? so do, so who do you who do you think will win if Tyson Fury fights Joshua? Who do you think is going to win that one? Well, I, I like I would have to go with Tyson Fury, really. Yeah. I, I, I like Tyson Fury. It'd be a good fight, either, either, either way. But if if they tell me who who I was choose, I would probably choose Tyson Fury. Yeah. You know, it'd be a good fight, but it's Tyson Fury. You know, yeah. Because Tyson Fury, he's a pretty good boxer. He's a pretty good boxer. Yeah. Pretty good. You know, so, it, it, it all depends how Joshua fights him. You know, because at one time. I wanted to help train Joshua to fight Tyson Fury. And one time I wanted to train, I wanted to help train Tyson Fury when he was fighting Deontay Wilder. And then I wanted to train Deontay Wilder to fight Tyson Fury. You know, but like I say, you know, because you know these guys today, you know, their style of boxing is not the same like it was back then. You know, because mm -hmm. they're, they're so easy. Like I was even thinking about fighting uh, Deontay Wilder. I was thinking about fighting Deontay Wilder. You know, I wanted to fight him at one time. Yeah. Yes. And and you think you beat him, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I, I believe, I believe, I definitely believe, I believe him. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so going back to your career, um, I know you were inducted into the Florida Hall of Fame, yeah? Yes, yes, sir, yes. So that must have been a really proud moment for you. Yeah, they were very proud, very proud, you know. Like I said, you know, they, they were... You know, they were good champions. You know, you know, you know. Like, like I say, you know, one thing about me, like I fought Tim Witherspoon. I beat Tim Witherspoon. They get a decision in him. Yeah. You know, they say, ladies, I fought Tim Witherspoon. They say, ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw. I say, a draw. I was upset. It was a draw. I was upset. And then, like two, three minutes later, they said, sorry, 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 fans. It's not a draw. The winner, Tim Witherspoon. I said, uh -huh. what? You know. Because what took place was, you see, Tim Witherspoon, that was that was like his his promoter, his manager, who mm -hmm. you know promoted the boxing car, you know. And that's what happened to me a lot of time, you know. I feel like guys, you know, uh, I feel like guys in their hometown or the promoter promoters car. Yeah. You know, I lost a lot of close decisions that way. You know, yeah. That really, you know. Is is there is is there anyone that you would have liked to have fight that you that you didn't you know was there any fighters that you wanted to fight but you didn't just for any reason or yes one time at one time 
uh, I really want to fight uh, Evan Holyfield and, and um, Evan Holyfield and, and George Foreman when George Foreman made a comeback. The, the two fights, those two fights, I really didn't get. Evan Holyfield and George Foreman. Oh, I'd like to fight them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because because in in your oh. era in your era you had you had so many tough including yourself you know uh, yourself right. Bert Cooper uh, Tommy Morrison right, right. you know these very very tough men nowadays in my opinion you you don't have that pool competition the most competition you right you right. right because because at one time I wanted to fight Lennox Lewis. You know, Lane Lewis, you know, I was a man if I Lane Lewis. Because you what happened, me and Lane Lewis, we spar one time for two weeks. You know, and I did real good with him sparring, you know. And I really wanted to fight him. Lane Lewis, you know. You know I wanted to fight him, you know, but you know, but it, it never took place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, very good fighter. Very, very good fighter, Lennox Lewis. Very good fighter. Okay, he's a good fighter, he's a good fighter. So you, so know, you, spar- that, you sparred quite a few people then? Yeah, for Lane, yeah, for I fought, yeah, with a couple of uh, yeah, for a couple, couple, yeah. Like, for example, like, I don't see how, I, I don't see sometimes how, for example, like, like, I fought that, like, I fought, I fought, I fought a lot of guys, you know, like Tommy Morrison, God bless him, so he passed away. Tommy mm-hmm. Morrison, you know, you know he, he's a good fighter, you know, you know, I spot, I spot him, I spot him a couple of times, you know, I really, I really wish I had fought him, you know, you know, it, this lot of guys, you know, I, we can name right now, like, like uh like Lenny Lewis, I wish I had fought him. Yeah. Lenny Lewis, I wish I had fought him. You know, you know, I sparred him for two weeks. You know, and that's way that's the way my you know my boxing career went. You know, because I feel like I, I sparred some good guys. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Who 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 was the best? Who was the best that you sparred then? You said the best that you fight, but the best that you sparred. But well, it, it would have to be. A, well, it was most likely the best as part would have to probably be uh, Lennox Lewis, Lennox Lewis. He won the best, Lennox Lewis. Oh, yeah, great, great, great fighter. Great yeah, fighter. Yeah. Are, you, are you still involved with boxing today? Do you, you know, do you coach kids or? No, I was still, I was, yeah, I was doing it for a while, but then I stopped. I was doing it for a while, you know. Right now, they're going to open this program to where they want me to be. They want me to be like. They want me to be like the head coach there. Oh, I might wow. do that. Let's we'll see. You know. So you, 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 you in England, right? You in England. I'm in the UK. Yeah, London, London, then, England, and it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. Right. Yeah, yeah, but you know, because I really, I really like to spar. I really, really like to do an exhibition with Frank Bruno. Yeah. You know, you know, he's doing all right at the exhibition with him. You know. They spoke about this for about close to a year now. Me and him have both done an exhibition. Wow. You know, I would love it, to do an exhibition with him. When when was the last time you see Frank? Oh, whoo. I ain't see Frank since I fought him, since I boxed him. I wow. lost him. Yeah, but you know, you know what? You know, I really do feel to it. Frank's a good fighter, he's a good punch, you know. But I do, you know, he really hit me behind the head. Yeah. The, the referee warned him, warned him. You know, the referee, you see, when, when Frank Bruno was to where, it, it was to a point to where, points to where uh, Frank Bruno, he, he does what he wants to do. The referee said, hey, hey, the referee didn't even warn him. He didn't be on the head. Mm. The referee didn't warn him. They say, hey, stop hitting me on the head. He didn't say that to him. You know, and he then he told me, the referee said, hey, he said, the referee hit me behind the head. The referee said to me, hey, be quiet and keep boxing. Be quiet and keep boxing. That's what he told me. I said, okay. And then, you know, he hit me behind the head again. Boom. You know, that really hurt me. You know. Of course. He hit me behind the head. Of course. Now, so so what, yeah. what, 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 do you do, what do you do in your spare time these days, apart from oh, um, looking after the kids and stuff? Yeah, sometimes I go to the gym. I go to the gym, you know. I go to the gym and work out, you know. Go to the gym and work out, you know. You, you know one thing. Um, I, I don't. Want to, one thing is that one of the guys, two of the guys that I beat, that I beat, knocked Bruno out. That's James Bond, Coach Smith, knocked him out. I beat him. They robbed me. And Tim Witherspoon, 
we said beat, knocked them out. I said, wow. Two of the guys, two of the guys that really beat knock Bruno out. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, I think about that time. I think about that too. Yeah. Yeah, I think with spoon, then Smith and Tim with spoon, both of them knocked them out. And both of the guys they lost, they lost to me. Like I say, you know, I, I would have been Frank Bruno also. We being his friend Bruno also. Like I say, you know, he he is real hard behind the head. <laughs> He's real hard behind the head. Oh dear. So we're gonna we'll, we'll try and sort out your exhibition with uh, Frank Bruno. The fans will yeah, have to see. You know? I, I, I like to do one with him. You know, he he he, 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 he seems like a nice guy. You know, he's a nice guy. You know. I like to do exhibition with you know, you know, we do six or eight round exhibition, you know, it'd be good. You know, because I, I said to a friend of mine that friend, me and friend Bruno did exhibition that I believe we'll draw a lot of people because a lot of people in England, you know, they like this, they like that my fight was Tyson. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I, I grew up, you know, a lot of people from England like me now because the fight as they were Tyson, you know. Yeah, that's you know. what I say, uh, Jose. When, whenever the British, especially the British fight fans, you know, we're passionate fans. Uh, especially, yes, especially when, when we hear the name, when the when the real hardcore boxing fans hear your name, it's courage, it's toughness, yes. it's, <laughs> it's durable. You know, you, you you never come to fight and and just be an opponent. You're always tough yeah. and a warrior. Yeah. But like yes. like most like most of the guys in your era, you know. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, true though. You know that's so true. What you're saying, you know, but most of the guys in my era, you know, they really came to fight. Like you know, like, like even Frank Bruno, when he came to fight, he came to fight. You know, you know, Frank. even when he fought Tyson, you know, you know, he came to fight. He came to fight. You know, he, 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 you know, I, I would, I would just like to do, yeah, I would like to do an exhibition with him. You think it's possible me to do an exhibition? Well, we can, we, we'll send him a tweet and see what he says. He looks good in, in, in good shape as well, you know. Yeah, but 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 I heard, I, heard, I spoke to a, this young man here, and he told me that that you know that, that he spoke to Bruno, and Bruno said yes, he'll do it with me. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so 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 we'll, we'll see how that one develops out. Yes, yes. And and, and Jose Rebelta is ready. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, I do it with my friend Bruno, yeah. yeah. Okay. And what about this other guy here? Uh, but I think he's in he's in Russia. He's a young, a young up and coming heavyweight that they call the next Mike Tyson. Yeah, there's not there, yeah. there's only yeah. there's only one Mike Tyson in my opinion. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. No, but this guy here, you see, he's been knocking he's been knocking guys out in in the sparring and in fights and everything. You know, they, they say like Mike Tyson, next Mike yeah. Tyson. But, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's, it's okay knocking people out in sparring. It's when you get in the ring, you know? Yeah, no, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah, no, it changes a lot. No, many people say, oh, I could do this to you, I could do this to you, I could do that to you. But, you know, when, when you get in the ring, everything changes. It's not, so it's not do what it's going to do. Totally you different. Know? Yeah, mm -hmm. one guy that I really truly, truly admire, they really... Uh, I believe he had really confidence, had some more confidence, was Muhammad Ali. But oh, okay. Muhammad, he, he spoke, you know, hey, I'm a knockout, I'm the best, you know, you know. But they told me, somebody else told me, the reason he spoke that way is because that's the way he did it, because he was nervous, he was nervous. And that's the way he did it. So, oh, that's for real. Because some people, you know, who, 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 who talk, 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 they, they really, they, they can intimidate you sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But, they say Ali did it because he was nervous. He talked because he's nervous. Well, if he was if he was nervous, he was um, he was good at hiding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> he was good at it. So, so was Muhammad Ali your idol? Uh, yes, 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 yes. One time, yes, yes, yes. Him and you know, um, really to a degree, really it was like him and Larry Holmes. Really, yeah. I, I spot Muhammad Ali. I spoke Muhammad Ali one time. We spoke in 1984. We spoke, you know. But yeah, but, but I don't want to agree with that. Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I think um, Larry Holmes is very underrated. 
Where he, I think so too. Yeah, I, I fought Larry Home. Yes, I fought Larry Home. And the one thing that I never forget was that my trainer, my trainer Dave Clark, God bless him, that uh, he passed away. But he said to me, Jose, you know what? Don't God say if Larry Home had not knocked you down, they would have given you the decision. You know, I lost a 10 round decision with Larry Home. Yes. But he told me Larry Home had knocked me down. But he said, you know, if I was close, you know, but if he had not knocked me down, they would have given me the decision. You know, but, but he's Larry Home, a great fight. He's a good fighter. Yeah. But he, 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 to me, one of the best jabs in boxing history. Ooh. Yeah, Larry good Holmes. jab. Larry Holmes. And, 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 and yeah. another guy, yeah, you beat um, Leon Spinks. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. you know, we, we had to recently say goodbye right, right. To, to him. Um, and, and, and in the UK, uh, the news, it was very sad to, to boxing fans, you know, the big smile and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Leon Spinks is a good guy. Real nice yeah. guy. He, real nice guy, too. Real nice guy. And, it, and, and, it, and also his brother, uh, Michael. Michael Spinks. Yeah, Michael, yeah, Michael Spinks. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time when I sparred Muhammad Ali for the first time, you know, Angela Dundee, you know, Angela, I knew, I knew Angela Dundee, you know, we spoke and everything, right? And then he said to me, Jose, he said, he said, he said, Rebalta, you want to spar? I said, <laughs> I said, he said, you want to spar? He said, he said to me, the attitude, do you want to spar? I said, I said, who am I spar? Don't worry, don't worry about that. Do you want to spar? Don't worry about that. Do you want to spar? I said, okay, I spar. And then, then, then what took place was Ali came from behind the wall running to spar me. You know, that's not laughing. You know, wow. <laughs> it, it, it was the day, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, we spar three what, rounds. Then one time, one time, you know, I did the shuffle and I almost fell. You know, and everybody <laughs> in the gym started, everybody in the gym started laughing at me. What, what year was that you sparred Ali? Excuse me. What, what year was that when you when you and Ali moved? Nineteen eighty four. Oh, so it, after he retired? Yeah, he retired, yeah. And, and, and he could still move? Yeah, he did real good. He moved pretty good. Yeah. Move, he moved good. He moved good. He moved good. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's yeah. good shape. Still. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, okay. Go on. No. But what I'm doing now really is, you know, one thing I like to do right now really was uh, to, you know, to do an exhibition with Frank Bruno, you know, Cause that's what a lot of people be asking me here in the street. Hey, Jose, man, are you doing an exhibition with Frank Bruno? Because they already know what Mike Tyson, you know, Mike Tyson. I don't know why I don't I don't, I don't know why they did not select me to do an exhibition with Mike Tyson. Cause in 1980, 1986, right? There were there were people saying, "Oh man, I want to see the Ty, Tyson Rebalta, you know, you know, fight again." A lot of people want to see the rematch again. Cause what took place one time was. This was to play when you know when Buster Douglas, Buster Douglas for uh, Mike Tyson, right? Okay, you know, eventually what I heard was Don King. I was gonna, I was gonna fight. Uh, I was gonna fight uh, uh, Buster Douglas. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was gonna fight Mike Tyson the rematch, right? But Don King didn't want that. He chose. They chose. They chose uh, Buster Douglas because they thought Buster Douglas would be an easier fight. Oh you know, they, wow! They, 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 they were for the rematch with me and my Tyson. They thought Buster Douglas would be an easier fight. So then, what took place was that, that you know, hey, you know, Buster Douglas, Buster stopped my Tyson. But they really, they really, I was really the first one that I was scheduled to fight Mike Tyson for his first rematch. But then they chose Buster Douglas. You know, they chose Buster Douglas. They went, they, you know, they wanted me. They chose Buster Douglas to do it. Wow. You know? Douglas did his thing and beat him. Unbelievable. Yeah, it, uh, one of the biggest um, upsets in boxing history. Yes, I know, I know. I, I think, yeah, boxing, I, would, I would say that, yes. Boxing history, yeah. It is, it is kind of cool, yeah, yeah. I would say that. Do, 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 you, know. do you have any, do you have any uh, regrets, you know, in your career, anything like that? Do you have any, you know? Well, 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 the only thing we regret I can have is really, um, you know, I really, I really, cause my man, my my trainer, right? He wanted me to wait. He wanted me to wait a year, a year longer, 
you know, for me, Fred Mike Tyson. Yeah. You want me to take a leave another year? I said, Fred Mike Tyson, you know, and he was really, you know, so that we kept telling me, no, Jose, I want you to fight now. But my manager, my manager wanted me to fight my uh, Mike Tyson. You know, because at the time, you know, they kept saying, you know, we're about to fight, 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 fight. We want you to, we want you to fight. They didn't say nothing. No, but, you know, they overlooked what my, they would look what my, my train was saying. My train said no. But then all of a sudden, you know, they let me, my train said, go ahead and do it, go ahead and do it. And then I went ahead and fought my Tyson. But my train wanted me to wait another year. You know, and then that's one thing I always, you know, yeah. You know, I, you know, I, I said to now nah, I find, I find, you know, because I, I, one thing about boxing with me is that I don't, I don't fear nobody in boxing. You yeah. fear nobody, nobody in boxing. And I fought for anybody, anytime. You know, I didn't care. You know, I didn't care. And that, that's what that's what we all say about all fight fans say about Jose Rabelta. You, 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 you were t- like I said earlier. You were tough. Come to fight, you would, you know, show the heart of a lion. You know? <laughs> Thank you. No yeah, for Tim Spoon, for Tim Spoon, you know, you know, I for Bone Crazy Smith, you know, like I said, I for for them all, for them all, and actual shows, I for a lot, for a lot of guys, you know, like guys. You know. Ah, right. but I would, I would right now, I would love to do exhibition with Mike Tyson, do yeah. exhibition with Mike, but he doesn't want, he doesn't want to, you know, because I heard, I heard that Evan Holyfield want to do exhibition with him, but you know, but you know. I don't understand what I don't understand because right now my Tyson said I gave him the toughest fight he ever had. Yeah. Right? If he the fight he ever had, you know, okay, automatically if he lost to Ren Holfield, okay, he lost. He lost. Okay, but well, it doesn't mean it was the toughest fight he ever had. That's why I say, you know, I don't know why he didn't select me, you know, for for you know, a rematch, rematch, you know, even even if it's an exhibition only. You could do an exhibition. You know, six round, eight round, ten round, whatever he wants, you know. But, you know, that's what I like to do, exhibition with him. Yeah. You know, you get in touch with his people. He's doing he's doing the Veterans League now, isn't he? The Legends League or whatever. You know, he just fought Roy Jones recently, so. Right, right, right. Maybe, maybe yeah, but. Maybe second chance. Right, 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 but, but then all of a sudden, Van Hoofield got into it. And the, the Van Hoofield said, he, he's now, Tyson said, all you're going to do is, all you're going to do is just, uh, exhibition, but Van Holyfield wants to do a fight. He wants oh, to do a yeah. fight. And but then what took place was now what's going on now. I guess, but Tyson said Tyson said he wants to do only only do uh, exhibition. But I, I don't know what's going on now. But now I hear that they they might be doing another exhibition now. I don't know, but, but I don't know why he won't select me. I really don't know why he won't select me. But I gave him a hard fight, gave him a good fight. You know, I don't know why Tyson. Does not select me. Nah, maybe maybe he's scared. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I say. I, I would say uh, he's definitely scared. You know, especially after we spar in '96. You know, I would really say he's, he's scared. You know, like I said, you know, you know, I I like to go ahead go ahead and do a round with Tyson. You no, know, yeah. once I say, I said this time is not gonna, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. Believe me, I'm gonna go at it. Go at it. We gonna go. At it. We'll, we'll, we'll try and sort that one out for you. Yeah, okay. I'll love, I'll love to fight Tyson again, though. I'll love to fight Tyson again. I, because yeah. some people say, some people say, Jose, you know, people don't don't know you, don't know, don't know you, don't know you. you know, they, they don't know me, you know, the people today. You know, they don't even know Van Hoofield. I say, I say, I say, that's a lie. Because you're trying to tell me now, when I fought Tyson, you had over 80 million people when they see the rematch. So you try to tell me 80 million people dying, dying, dying oh, oh, over the time, over the last, last 15, 18 years, they dying. You know, when I for Tyson, you know, I for Tyson, you know, a lot of people want to see the rematch. Yeah. You know, let's, let's, say, let's, let's hope they can do something then. Excuse me? I said, let's hope they can do something. Let's hope we can, we can see the rematch. Yeah, yeah. I would love to do a rematch with you know, my Tyson, you know. I would love to do it. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be yeah. good to see. Be good to see R- Jose Rebelta tying up the gloves once more. Yeah, exactly. And, and even even with Bruno, I would love to do it Bruno too. Yeah. You know, you know yeah, you know, I love to do it Bruno. England, you know, 
you know, I, I, I love the England fans. I, I really do, really do. I'm not just saying, I really love the England fan. You know, matter of fact, I've been there. I've been, I think I've been, tw been there twice. Been in England, twice. Yeah, see, and the English fans, that's what I say. We love, we love the courage. We love the, yeah. the heart of, of Rebelta, you know? Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of fans. I met a lot of fans with England. England, when I was there. I met a lot of fans, and see? I see that they love me. They love my boxing. F fans everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Fans everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna um, let you go now. Get back to okay, it. Okay, I appreciate, I appreciate it. And I appreciate okay. you talking to me, Jose. I uh, no problem. Okay, take and care. God, God bless to you and your family. All right, likewise, likewise. Take Thank care. You.